caring for our body. What does our body need to grow and develop well? How can we keep our body healthy? How are healthy and unhealthy children different? What are the safety rules at home, in school, and in case of fire? We'll discuss these questions one by one. The first we'll see about the factors that affect how our body grows and develops. The first is food. We need proteins to help build the different parts of our body. Foods such as meat, fish, eggs, and milk are rich in proteins. We also need vitamins and minerals for our bones to keep growing. Foods such as fruits and vegetables are rich in vitamins and minerals. The second factor is health. Our body needs to be healthy so it can grow and develop well. Our body will not get enough nutrients for growth if we are sick. The third factor is rest. Our body needs enough rest to function properly. Our body gets rest when we sleep. Most of us need 8 hours to sleep every night. The next factor is environment. Our environment is the surroundings in which we live. We need a clean, safe, and pleasant environment to grow and develop well. We will not fall sick easily if our environment is clean. We are also less likely to get hurt in a safe environment. Living in a pleasant environment can make us stay happy. Our body can then grow and develop well. Okay, so those are the factors that help our body develops and grows well. Let's continue. Keeping our body healthy. What should we do to stay healthy? There are so many ways to keep our body healthy. In this video, Miss Julie only explains some of them. The first is balanced diet. Diet means? Yes, diet. Diet doesn't mean you don't eat anything at all. No, no, no. That's a wrong assumption. We should eat three meals a day. Each meal should be made up of a balanced diet. Our meal should still contain the carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, and minerals, but in enough portion or not too much. Different body weight and height needs the different portions of foods. This is the meaning of balanced diet. The next thing that we should do is to keep our oral health. This refers to the health of our mouth and teeth. We should take care of our oral health so that we can eat properly. You cannot eat properly if you have the toothache or something is wrong with your tongue or the gum in your mouth. When we eat properly, our body stays healthy because we can get enough nutrients. One of the efforts that we can do to get healthy oral is by brushing teeth. Brushing teeth helps to keep our teeth clean and healthy.
the next thing we need to do to keep healthy is exercise regular exercise keeps our body fit and healthy it helps our body functions better It also helps to make our bones and muscles stronger. It is best for us to exercise at least three times a week. Next, by washing hands. There are a lot of germs on our hands. Germs can get into our body, especially when we eat. This can make us ill. We should wash our hands with soap before and after meal, also after using the toilet. Washing our hands properly helps to keep germs away. Next is take a rest. Every day we use our body to carry out many activities. So we should give our body enough rest. By getting a good sleep every night. Having enough rest keeps us from falling sick easily. It also helps us to concentrate when we study and allows us to have more energy to play every day. Are we healthy? How are healthy children and unhealthy children different? A healthy child and unhealthy child are different in many ways. Look at this girl. She is healthy because she has a balanced diet, she exercises regularly, she has enough rest, she doesn't fall sick easily, and she can concentrate when studying. While this girl is unhealthy because she eats too much or too little foods, she lacks exercise, she doesn't have enough rest, she falls sick easily, she cannot concentrate when studying. Now compare yourself with the two children. Are you healthy? Staying away from danger. What safety rules should we follow to keep us away from danger? Actually, each place has safety rules. 
safety rules at home. Don't play with sharp objects such as knives and scissors. You may be cut or bleeding. Don't play with fire. Don't light match or candle on your own. Don't play in the kitchen. You may burn yourself. Don't play in the bathroom. You may sleep and fall. Don't play with electricity mains and wires. You may get the electricity shock. Safety rules in school. Don't run around in the classroom or jump down the stairs. You may get hurt. Don't play in the science laboratory. A laboratory is a place for a serious work, not to play. Q on the line. No matter whether you want to enter the school, the classroom, take your food, submit your work, go to the toilet, you must queue up on the line. You must watch out for hot foods when eating. In case of Fire Fire can be dangerous. It can harm us. <coughs> Wherever you are, when there is a fire, stay calm and don't cry. Don't hide under something that is easy to be burned. Quickly find a way to get out. Remember, use the staircase, don't use the lift. If you are in the room and it's too hot outside, close the door. Go to the window and shout for help. If a lot of smoke is getting into the room, use something like wet towel to block gaps around the door. If you can run, just run. Don't stop running until you're out of the danger. If you have your cell phone with you, you can call the fire brigade or ask for an adult to call the fire brigade. Don't go back to the place where the fire is still on. That's all from me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. See you next time.